Welcome back. And of course, uh, we are continuing with this conversation on youth and politics. If at all you're just joining us, and of course, keep engaging with us. Uh, we are with Caroline McKenna, the senatorial aspirant for Kiambu County. Caroline Asante Sana. Thank you so much for, for sticking with us. And of course, uh, uh, thank you so much for the, the feedback. And, uh, I, I love that you're coming out boldly. You're not playing the women card as 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 uh, as you said earlier on now I, I want us to move to the um uh, to the next part and of course i want to you to give us just a brief synopsis <laughs> of of your manifesto um what is it that you've <coughs> got li li lined up for the people of Kiambu county just briefly in a short period of time yes uh, Ram, thank you very much. I will highlight a few. Actually, as we've had our conversation going on, yeah. I've been able to tackle quite a number of them. Mm -hmm. So I will just mention for those ones so that I can get time to expound on the others. Yeah. The first one is actually youth and employment. And oh, where we, we, we spoke, we talked exactly, that. we talked yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I wanted to speak about youth is to ensure that we have a uh, we have social halls in all my 60 wards. Kiambu has 12 constituencies and 60 wards. So for the 60 wards, I will champion through the county assembly and coordinated function working. I will suggest to them and propose mechanisms on how we can invent social halls so that we are able to, ta to tap into talents and nurture them from a young and tender age. We also need to tackle sports. Sports to ensure that our sportsmanship is not lost in the midst of hustling. Ensure that people who are gifted in those areas can get a platform whereby they can bring out that talent mm -hmm. and also create employment in the sports arena. Mm -hmm. When you talk about sports, for example, we have uh, health in sports. We have coaches in sports, mm. we have referees, we have mentors. All these are job opportunities and natural talent to the point whereby we can actually sponsor players to national teams mm. so that they can get an income through their talents. All right. On the same note, mm -hmm. we'd want to have academies, sports academies. And in sports, normally they just think of football. There are many other sports that we can expound on. Mm -hmm. Those are issues that I'd want uh, to ensure that we discuss them extensively with mm -hmm. all the other uh, do dockets mm -hmm. in the county government formation well, so, so that's uh, employment and of course you talk about sports exactly and recreational activities exactly uh, for uh, the uh, youth for the youth yes here we have music art beautiful art is, is, is exactly there. all right yes all right. Uh -huh. and even if somebody wants to be an uncle like you they can get that opportunity mm -hmm. to develop that from a tender age uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. that's for youth mm -hmm. the other thing we talked about is uh, for personally I want to vouch for a fair and attractive business environment for the Kiambu people. Mm. This is through harmonization of licensing to ensure that the licensing uh, aspect is harmonized. You realize that there's a mystery where when you want to register a business, you realize you'll be told there's fire, there's city council, there's garbage, mm. there's health. Mm. So before you know it, a license that you thought would cost you 5,000 ends up extending to 15, 20. Yeah. So it becomes unbearable for the people who want to start up businesses. So we would want to sit and create policy I will be an advocate mm. to create policy at the county assembly so that we can ensure that we have licensing procedures that will ensure that those who are having startups and small businesses are protected. And okay. the more so, we also want to make it investor-friendly environment. This simply means we will not put up demands for the people who want to come and invest in Kiambu by giving unrealistic and exaggerated requirements for them to start up and taking a long duration. Mm. So on business entity, that is what I ensure to do. I have also promised the hawkers and the people who are trying to self-employ, because we are saying there is no employment in our nation. So if you're trying to self-employ, you are a hawker, you are a small business person. I will ensure that the county of Kiambu will protect you by us setting apart 
uh, areas that the hawkers can trade in peace. You do not need to start go to training for marathon so that you can hawk because it is a it is a it is a cat and mouse kind of thing. That is what we need to change on that. Right. The other right. aspect is on security. Mm -hmm. Our security, there are areas of Kiambu that are very unsafe. Mm -hmm. This is because of what we are talking about, lack of employment, idleness, and also there's a very slow police response mechanism. So we want to ensure that we have a cohesive, yes, sure. mm -hmm. cohesive uh, working, working uh, in in togetherness mm. so that the police can serve the people and the people can also enhance uh, security through community policing which had actually been started a while ago so security matters will have to be tackled in that area and ensure that there are roads that cannot be accessed so they become a threat to the people lighting all those things are under security that oh. i will want to ensure mm. are met and mm. the most important thing is agriculture. Kiambu is an agriculture, an agricultural hub, a food basket that contributes to the Kenya economy. Mm -hmm. So currently, our farmers who are scattered in places like Lari, Limuru, the Gedongori, they, their produce cannot get to their markets in good timing. So they have brokers who come in and the brokers take the produce from the farmer at a very low cost cost and when you they take it to the market the price is inflated to a very high percentile which simply means the farmer who is producing is incurring a very heavy cost of production but they are not getting the benefit because their produce is not fetching the same market value no. so i will come in by providing legislation that will take care of the farmer so that we, we have pricing that to ensure that the farmer is protected and is encouraged to continue their farming without some of these uh, impediments that are posing challenges. Now, you, you, you know, Carolyn, if you look at the, the, the history of uh, Kiambu County, yes. we've had so many <coughs> issues concerning leadership yes. uh, in that county. Uh, one person being removed from office, another person being removed from office, and, and, and police cases going around office, you know, all the way from the county level to, 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 to the uh, gubernatorial um, uh, level. Um, um, you know, what is your thought in, in regards to that? Is, 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 is um, um, it solvable? Because in Kiambu County, we've got so many um, uh, leadership roles that uh, are very, very important and, and very key. And when we have such kind of uh, dispensations, it, 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 it leads to instability. Wow. Actually, the, that's one of the things that made me want to vie and vie specifically in Kiambu because one, Kiambu mm. is my home. Mm. And two, the fact that there was uh, an impeachment from Kiambu, removal of office due to misconduct, simply means that the people of Kiambu are aware and they are doing their jobs and mm. their role is actually felt at the grassroots level. So it is actually a good thing because it makes you as a leader up your game and realize that the people of Kiambu are not people who will just sit back and watch you uh, mess around and bring down the county that is at par. So for me, it's actually, that is a plus. That mm. is a gain, that there are people who are watching. The MCAs are doing their roles. If you come in and there is corruption, that is provided for by the law. And the law was followed and the gaps were identified. So that simply means that the people are doing their job. And if we could have more leaders doing that and more counties having that, mm. you will have issues of corruption and all this misconduct and uh, abuse of office going down significantly All so right. for me it is actually a plus oh it's a good thing it's a very good doesn't, thing doesn't destabilize the, it doesn't the, the, the county it stabilizes it stabilizes it because why should you let uh if if already you have seen an issue why mm. should you let the rot uh, finish you get rid of it it okay. has been provided for in the constitution mm. so constitutionally without witch hunt and clearly if there is misconduct and uh misconduct and abuse of office Yes, you're not supposed to sit in that office. You need to be removed so that people who are willing to work for the people are the ones that are occupying these now, spaces. Now, will you keep your end of the bargain? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. People change when they get into, the, into office. Will Very you keep true. your end of the, the bargain? That my promise and my commitment to the people of Kiambu, I will keep my promise when you give me your vote and ensure that I am your senator this 2020 what if you do not? election. What if you do not? Uh, <laughs> what if I do? What if you do not? What if I do? <laughs> <laughs> and remember we said okay. I am a leader. Ah. So it simply means that we will continue serving the people. Okay. Yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> we are watching. I will, you can hold me accountable and you can call me back again when I'm Senator for Kiambu and we can revisit these issues. Ah. Yes. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will. I'm looking if forward. If God uh, makes it happen, I will. Amen. I'm and looking forward to that. A, a, a accountable. Oh, to absolutely. I am ready. I am available. And that's why I'm here. I want us to bring this conversation to a close. And uh, Karen, I want to give you time <coughs> to speak to the people of Kiambu County. Mm -hmm. What is your final word? And of course, talk to them. That is your camera. <laughs> Thank you, Ram, for that opportunity. Thank you very much, my people of Kiambu. Like, I, we have had this conversation. My name is Caroline Makena Kigunda. In the ballot paper, my name <coughs> is the first one. I request you all the way from Limuru, Lari, Kiamba, Kabete, Gatondo North, Gatondo South, all the way to Thika, Roiro, Juja, Kikuyu, Kiambu, kindly enable me to do all these things for you. I am yours, Senator Caroline McKenna. Your vote to Caroline McKenna is an end to corruption. Your vote for Caroline McKenna is stability in businesses. Your vote for Caroline McKenna is health services that are not just empty buildings, but institutions that are going to serve you and are ready people who are there county employees, county workers serving you. And my idea and my agenda is to ensure that you, Mwana Inchi, will be the real Mwenye Inchi. Naomba Kurayako, ya Senator for Kiambu County, mm. 20, 2022. Sana. Thank you. And of course, it's important to note that she is from the Kenya National Congress Party. Correct. Uh, the, you have a hashtag. Yes. That you're using. Makena Gishe? Makena Kekenogia Kiabu. Thank you so much. I wish you the, I wish you the best. Let, let, me, let me explain that a little. Makena Kekenogia yeah. Kiabu, uh. that simply means Makena is the happiness for Kiambu. Because when Kiambu people elect Makena, mm. they will not go crying. They will be a happy people because. I will provide remedial and solution mechanisms to tackle all the issues that have been bringing us down as a nation and as a people of Kiambu County. Makena, yekenogea Kiambu. Hashtag again. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Makena. Hashtag Makena, yekenogea Kiambu. I have not said anything. <laughs> I just wanted to hear that hashtag. Yes. Sounds so good. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I wish you the best, Makena. Asante sana, Keep Ram. doing what you're doing. Yes. And, and whether you get it or not, I believe you're still going to be the leader that uh, Kiambu needs. Absolutely. Sendeo. We will get it. Mm. Mm. So if you do not, um, I, I we, should, we will come back. We, and have we this will definitely be here. Right? Yes, Ram. <laughs> and if you do, <laughs> We will come back and have this conversation. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And of course, ladies Ascentious and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this conversation. A big thanks to McKenna, uh, Carolyn McKenna, uh, the senatorial aspirant for Kiambu County. And I hope that you've learned something uh, during this conversation. I hope you've uh, maybe you've been satisfied with uh, one or two or three things that uh, she has said. I'm a senator McKenna Gehoria. McKenna Gekenogia Kiambu. Asha. <laughs> and of course, uh, keep talking to us. The hashtag as always is Y in the morning at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel, the official station handle. And of course, uh, at uh, Stephanie Ayeta, my colleague's handle. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with more right on Y in the morning. This is Youth and Politics. My name is Ram Aguko. Thank you so much for sticking with us. <laughs>